Hey everybody, welcome back to my, ta my plasma table build. So this one's going to be 5 foot by 10 foot using another precision, precision plasma gantry and I'm using their z-axis as well. I actually contacted Ron there directly and got that. I uh, took basically the precision plasma kind of drawings if you may off their website and what I've done is I've essentially just kind of reverse engineered it and then also I looked at like Star Lab how they have theirs done. I like how they use 4 by 4s and they use the 8th inches. Uh, I'm sorry, 11 gauge or 8th inch. I don't actually know what the thickness is on these on his tubes. Um, they're square tube. <clears throat> this is all 4x4 four four, and I've got a 2x4 cross brace on the bottom. It'll be in the middle and then on the front which is already welded in right there. 4x4 four four on the top, 4x4 four four on the back. I'll probably put a 2x4 here in the center which is all 11 gauge or 10 gauge. It depends on, I mean it's minimal amount of difference. I also did a 4x4 four four cross brace here in the center. I want this one to be a down draft. Um, I didn't want it super, super tall either. I'm really, I did, that's one of the biggest things I hated about my previous table is about how just daggone tall I thought it was. Um, so, hit it from the top here. Things I'm gonna be doing, things I wanted to do on this table, technically I wanted it to be a shuffle bed table. I wanted to be able to slide out an entire bed and slide an entire bed. But honestly, after I got to looking at it, I was like, forget it. I don't want to do all that business. It's just too much work, too much time. Um, I'll probably build this table, use it for 6 to 12 months, and I'll sell it as well. Uh, I really have fun doing this. This is a really, uh, some people know all the stats of sports. They know all of the everything about a lot of stuff. I ain't me. I don't do that. That bird is having a good time out there, as you can probably hear. Anyways. Um, yeah, it's, it's just been a fun, fun journey here. That bird is really singing a song there. I'm pretty sure you can hear it well. But, I got the Precision um, Plasma Z-axis as well. So, I got to paint a few things today, which kind of sucks. This stuff I cut already. Uh, I thought I recorded it. I didn't. Uh, I don't want to go down that road, but whatever. Lessons learned. Lost all this, so... It is what it is. Um, updating on Precision, I'm sorry, up, updating it on uh, Plasma Spider as well. I already put a post on there yesterday, and um, I've only been doing this table build for, I mean, honestly, to get to where I'm at today has taken me less than two evenings in the shop at maybe three hours a piece. And I mean, I literally just had the sticks brought in. I brought them in. Um, wife got them off the truck with my skid steer slid them in here and that's been a wrap like that's all i've done this is when people are telling me eight and ten week lead times i understand that i get it but wow like that is just wow i mean <laughs> this i mean i don't see how it could take you eight to ten weeks to make this i get it that you have orders and this and this and that but um yeah wow so needless to say here i am I'm gonna build this thing, it's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, that evolution saw has been really worth its weight in gold. Oh my gosh, like, I mean, I can, let me see if I can show you one of the pieces I cut. I mean, I had to take off just a little piece, and I mean, look at this, how well that thing did, cutting that. That's like, what, a millimeter? A mil, mil and a half, maybe. That's nothing. It's a. It's not even an eighth. I mean, and it's it's all pretty much perfect. Like I mean, it's. I couldn't get this with my last table. My last, my table. Jesus, my last um. Cut off saw. I just couldn't do it. So, yeah, got the half inch, half inch cold rolled here. Three inch wide. I've got. So really, what I have left to do so far is I've put these top pieces on it right here. So, and those are already cut. Those are actually underneath of the table right here. So those are laying that way. So I need to take those, put them on top, weld them in, and then drill a trillion holes in these half inches here. Um, I've got two braces to put in the center and I need to finish up welding it. There's a crap load of welding I gotta do. Um, 
It's just a lot of welding is what I got to get done on this table. Also, too, I didn't think about this, the seams. So pay attention to your seams. Sorry, apologize. Your seams on your on your steel. So I never thought about how like the hoof of a seam is on a, on a piece of steel. So whenever they meet the piece of steel in a tube or a pipe, they've got that uh, piece in the center of it, like this, like right here. So they have a seam, okay? And Fireball Tool does a great job talking about it and how to remove it if you need to have a piece of pipe slide inside of a piece of pipe. But when you have that little seam right there, it actually makes this little seam on the outside right here as well. So if you do that, you can actually, it's just somewhat a little bit oblong maybe. It's like it'll be hooved just a little bit on the bottom. It's not much really to tell, like it's, you can't really see a ton of it. But if you keep all your seams going kind of the same way, so all mine are pointing in, except for I think one piece I didn't do it with because it just wasn't critical. I'm pretty sure it was that front bottom piece that was kind of nothing. Uh, that's where that's at. Uh, I've got the gantry um, rack, side rack here. It's going to go right here, over there. i got to probably cut that. And then also, too, the biggest thing I want to add on this one, the biggest thing I want to have on this table, I want to make sure I have it, is friggin' fork pockets. I, oh my gosh, fork frickin' pockets. Like, wow. And then I'm also going to make sure that whenever I have the fork pockets, so whatever side I have fork pockets on, I'm gonna make sure I have a stop in the front of it too so I don't smash into the gantry or I don't smash into like the half inch cold roll that sits on this. I'm telling you right now, I cannot be more frustrated with the previous like how we got, how do we had to like load it up and rig it out and get it out of here because it was so freaking big. It also uh, is quite daunting to see how tiny this table is compared to that 20 footer. Um, I do intend to do the down draft like I said and also want to do uh, oxyacetylene or oxypropane, oxy something, right? Whatever. Um, I want to make sure I add that. I got the oversized cable track with it too. Um, that's all over there. Other rails are over there. So by all means, thanks for coming along. Listen to me ramble for 15 minutes. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully you'll subscribe, comment. I'm going to have to do a little bit of grinding. I kept tacking a lot of stuff into place here in the past couple days. And also, heck, even furthermore, I have to put um, I have to put feet on the bottom of all this as well. So that's something that I, I, do, I do have access to my old table. So thank goodness I have that. The guy is gracious enough to let me. Um, I'm not cutting 900 items or anything like that, but it's definitely going to be one of those uh, time saver things where I already missed not having a plaza table. And it, I sure as shit, as soon as I get it done, as sure as I send it out and I'm done and it's gone, it's over with. I had three people reach out to me. Hey, can you cut this? Hey, could you could you cut that? Could you do this? And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Um, I told them the story and where I'm what's what's behind it and such, but and why I'm taking so much time. But they're pretty awesome people. But um, yeah. So again, comment, subscribe. I'm, my plasma uh, controller system. That's going to be interesting. If you're not following me on Endiron, you need to on my Instagram page. I've already thrown a couple of uh, photos of the My Plasma controller with the um, My Plasma controller and the drivers, the KL drivers. Now I got two 480 watt, right? 480 watt, 24 volt, or 24 amps. I don't remember right now. I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm spitballing, but um, I have those. I have to wire all that up still as well. I'm not as intimidated as I was initially about it. I did find a Z-axis, I'm sorry, a rotary axis as well, so I want to make sure I integrate that into this too. I want My biggest two things I wanted was I wanted downdraft and I wanted rotary. I wanted those two, two items. I can get oxyacetylene, oxy whatever with any table I build, but if you look at the floor over there where the water from that table just smashed and splashed on the floor, bleh, like you talk about gross and just nasty um so yeah here i am i'm probably gonna put some of these brackets as well between these two on the top and on the bottom as well so again thank you all comment subscribe i'm just gonna record myself every move of the way here and hopefully i can capture all of it so thank y'all i'm gonna do some cutting now i'll turn it back on for i get ready to cut